Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Dogwood53, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the New Order Last Days of Europe. Now, in the last video, um, we're, we more or less got our our industry stuff figured out. We still have slaves. The cartels still have power, but not quite to the level that we used to. We're about to finish off, I think, the army stuff this video. Then we'll probably get working on the rest of the, um, of Kissinger's stuff from there on. And then we'll probably wrap up the science, and then move on to, uh, Italy and Japan. Yeah, I think this is good. Oh, no. The, the Arab Republic is not doing too hot. Oh, wait. Hey, Ho Chi Minh is dead. Feels bad, man. The modernization efforts of the Wehrmacht in full swing, the Luftwaffe has been granted all the needed funds and personnel to develop new improved aircraft to press into service as soon as possible. However, an airplane is much more compl complicated than a gun or a tank, and even the testing procedures reflect this. Once the research department has finalized the proposed designs, the testing can truly begin with, his, with flight plans. In this phase, unfortunate pilots are put at the helm of what can only range from a perfectly functioning jet air fighter to a flying coffin only waiting to close itself on the poor sod. Take off instances, on-air engine failures, sudden air frame detachments, and many, many more. The list of problems experienced by testing pilots is only as long as the list of the causes of their death. And many promising aviators have been met their have met their untimely end just because the one in charge of them forgot to factor a zero or put a comma where it was needed. Still, no one can deny the results of this tear, tear-filled process. Extremely promising. And so the aircrafts, the airstrips of the military airports across the Reich fill with strange, barely flying machines, challenging the laws of physics with frames barely kept together with glue, thread, and the fervent prayer of their pilots. I'm not putting that thing. Well, we got that done. Let's go ahead and look down the Sully, the Knight Sully armor. We'll get a bit of hit to PP and War Sport. The War Sport is actually kind of not nice. But, whatever. The sounds of Luftwaffe's unusually high pay and tensions are an open secret. Goring certainly has a talent for managing the dirty side of finance. He spent years pouring the state's wealth, of the people's wealth, directly into the pockets of his favorite officers. That's to say nothing about the uh, gifts and the benefits that every man above a certain rank currently enjoys. Such profligacy has no place in our realm. Soldiers, regardless of their rank or personal status, have to earn their pay the same as any other professional. A thorough audit into a loof office budget will be conducted and any discrepancies investigated to the maximum possible extent. There will be no more special benefit between the state and any of its institutions. Very nice. Ah. I feel so basic and white when I'm drinking my uh, my coffee. Not my white girl coffee, I should say. Um. Bridge the gap. So it looks like you're still uh, negotiating with Scott. Right as I said it. Well, well, good luck, Maggie. The Isles is bathed in blood once more. We have exiled divisions where? Now, hold on. So, um, I'm guessing we're, jo we're gonna join the OFN and back with the, um, OFN and back, or, uh, not the OFN, the, uh, Reichsbach, not bad. Corruption runs even deeper in Luftwaffe than we thought. The vast majority of its officers run Gorn's payroll at some point, and a few have proven their value in recent years. They spent their hours on the job in the same way they do at home, lounging around on fine imported furniture, sipping cognac, and showing off their collection of undeserved medals. It's time to... 
it's time these preening peacocks were put out of pasture. There's no room in our new Lufafa for glory hounds and layabouts. They can keep their mansions, their medals, and their pensions, but no more. No more black market goods purchased with state funding. No more bits of gold and no, for no effort. No more annual gifts from the Fuhrer. Um... So they're I think yeah the I think the Arab Republic is kind of screwed at this point. Well how about the Dofar rebellion? See if that can't encourage them. Get a little bit of progress going. I'm not a fan of using the command power, but if it helps us win at least one of these, I'll take it. Most difficult obstacle to overcoming in dealing with Luthoff is in their corruption or incompetence. It's their arrogance. The former field marshal, with his constant praise and grooming, fostered a sickening, self-serving cult of aviation. That has politicized Luthoff and alienated them from the rest of Wehrmacht. In order to truly heal bring them to heal. We must excise this tumor. This notion that the Luftwaffe is inherently superior due to its political ties will be debunked for good. All favoritism will come to an end and the conduct of Luftwaffe is subject to biannual review until the government is satisfied with their performance. There we go. Oh no, this might have been a waste. Like any other. Alright, the eagle tamed. By hook or by crow, we have tamed Goring's pet eagle. They now fly for our Reich, not his. Finally, the core of our global power projection is back under the fierce control and we're no longer balk at every other order we give them. With this accomplished, we possess the means to defend our ground force from airstrikes to carry out search and destroy organizations against insurgents, and should ever need rise, launch nuclear strikes without the use of ICBMs. Though we pray that day will never come, we can at least be thankful that the Japanese Americans no longer hold a certain advantage against us over air. There we go. Um. Well, that's just the autosave. Okay. Okay, I, I take it back. I think the Arabs are actually gaining, the Arab Republic's gaining their strength back in Yemen. Kind of. Meanwhile, hey, tight in a branch cooperation. An unforgivable flaw in the Wehrmacht's conduct during the last war, war was its inner service rivalry. While never escalating to the insanity one hears from Japan, the constant bickering of the three branches stymied efforts during the Vespa. Russian war to effectively deal with the Bolshevik threat. Before that, the Luftwaffe listened to the Reich Marshal rather than the OKW when it pleased them, and while the Kriegsmarine was happy to ignore any null goings on that didn't occur at sea. Add the SS to the mix, and one might wonder how we even won the Second World War at all. The independence of the Wehrmacht's branches must be reduced a little. In all three sections, the OKW convened re regularly. Every member of high command needs to be fully aware of what his counterparts are doing at any given time. This way, the Wehrmacht can avoid any complication born of professional pride and senseless secrecy. Every one of us, from the humble infantryman to the Reich Marshal himself, has a responsibility to do his duty above all else. There is no room for self-aggrandizement in the Reich's armed forces. Beautiful. Um. Okay. Well, that's all kind of. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait a bit until the Anglo's figure this shit out. And there goes uh, Egypt, Muslim Brotherhood. We got Nasser and the Muslims and their brotherhood. 
And there goes Sudan. Yeah. It looks like the Revolutionary and Command Council has a pretty solid advantage right now. Oh, okay! Uh-oh. Tokyo Sam, that's not good. Is that gonna lead what I think it's gonna lead to? Oh no. Okay, I didn't think we'd actually win this one. I, I was about to give up, but it looks like we have won. In Yemen. Now, the Dorfar Rebellion, that's another question altogether. I'm a bit more skeptical of that. As part of a new interbranch cooperation at coordination efforts, a large war game has been organized near Danzig, a suitable location, a hill surrounded by a small forest near the coast, has been labeled enemy fortification and suitably equipped with bunkers, tents, and mock em emplacements containing old machine guns and artillery pieces. At the given signal, the combined might of the Wehrmacht was unleashed upon the unfortunate earth mound. The Kriegsmarine opened fire upon the en enemy positions, neutralizing anti-air batteries and grievously damaging several other emplacements. Only after bombers from Luftwaffe dropped their deadly cargo upon the trenches, anti-tank cannons, machine guns, clearing the way for the here. Tanks rolled forward on their target, and infantry both motorized and on foot followed in their wake to occupy the objective. Thanks to the radio coordination, there was no instance of friendly fire, and the entire operation was declared a success. For the entire time, Henning von Treskow looked with a satisfied expression at the scene unfolding a few hundred meters from his command tent. Several other members of the Oberkommander der Wehrmacht, generals, aviators, and even a couple of Kriegsmarine officers were present all murmuring their approval for how the army reformers were having their desired effect. The Prussian general allowed himself a smug smirk. Everything was going as planned. The hill offered its unconditional surrender at 1746. There we go. Um, I'm not too worried about the kingdom right now, actually. I think that's about to work out. We're going to lose a no man if I, Oman, if I had a guess. kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Sudan Defense Force. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Okay, I don't know what's happening there either. Um... Okay, let's do the Reich's OKW. Speer must accept that the OKW is not to his his to meddle with any longer. Hitler's constant shuffling of commands, sacking of disfavored generals, and promotions of the undeserving almost led to the ruin. Almost led to ruin more than once. If the war is turned against us at any point, his interference could have proven utterly disastrous. Speer has to understand this and back down from his claims to authority over OKW's inner workings. He can continue being commander-in-chief, but his political games are selfish, reckless, and detrimental to our success. We serve the Reich, not its leader. Kneeling to Hitler tore our martial brotherhood apart. That must never be permitted to happen again. Funaba. Yeah, I don't know what these guys, guys are fucking thinking right now. Army. I mean, actually, I mean, if that works out, that'd be interesting. Alright, 
I've got a lot of research we gotta get working on. Um recon companies, field hospitals. Germans, not errands. Servants, not subjects. Soldiers, not warriors. We are the Wehrmacht, the greatest military the world has ever known. We walk in the footsteps of a European martial tradition dating back thousands of years and will not be led astray by ideology. The citizens, not the race. The nation, not the party. The ideals, not the ideology. Never again will be we be the tools of an overmighty megalomaniac. Let the fear grumble and the Nazi party calls disloyal. Only the nation and its people are worthy of it anyway. There we go. Actually, I don't know. Ooh. We've done it. We've accomplished what Hitler and his agents never thought the R&D could do. Uncovering what is likely Burgundy's chief office, modus operandi. We've discovered two facts. One, the Burgundian state has and is built for the sake of resource and wealth extraction to funnel into an intelligence agency. Everything is else is merely for the stake of stability and keeping the regime alive. 2. We have found something dreadful. There's more ex information, pages 1 to 15, but to give a brief exclamation, the, Bur 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 the Burgundian Order States Intelligence Agency is primarily geared to international operations. They follow what is known as the Global Plans, meticulous plans detailed towards exploiting ethnic, racial, religious, and political tensions within more fragile parts of the world. They all share a similar goal, however. Each region outlined in these, in these global plans has the capacity of involving two or more superpowers. It seems they're hoping to bring us, the Americans, or the Japanese into a conflict. More information will be available on pages 16 to 35. End of page. May Germany be in safe hands while the black state continues to elude us. Hmm. Okay. And Sudan, we didn't even get a chance to intervene in, so I don't know what's up there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yemen. Careful here, Yemen. Oh. Oh. Alright, I gotta... Ready for modern warfare. We have the Wehrmacht! In decades past, we defeated every foe who dared to face us. The British, the French, the Poles, the Russians, the Americans. None stood against us in battle and triumphed. A momentary weakness could never bring us down, and we have demonstrated it. Time will tell if the legacy we have fought so hard to secure will indeed prove invincible. Though we have not yet bested, been bested in battle, the future is never certain. Only one fact can be stated with certainty. The day will come when we are tested. When that occurs, we will we must stand tall, stand proud, and show Germany, show the world that Germany is worthy of its mantle. All right, the Wehrmacht has experienced the dramatic changes in the last few months. Under the leadership of von Treskow and his cadre of reformist officers, the armed forces of the Reich have thoroughly cleansed any have been cleansed of any political interference and purged of most disloyal, corrupt, or incapable officers. What was once a ragtag band of mercenaries and unfit recruits has returned to its former glory, and now reflects the Russian spirit of its adoptive father, in all fa facets. The here is now in perfect state, with modern doctrines, improved equipment, and fully functional logistics, like a tiger coiled and ready to spring towards its intended prey. The Luftwaffe is the undisputed ruler of the skies across the entirety of Europe. Its modern fleet of fighters, interceptors, and bombers ready to teach those foolish enough to attack the right for depth of their mistakes and hubris. The Kriegsmarine is now forced to be reckoned, fully stretched to dominate the seas and oceans, nimble frigates working together with powerful cruisers and menacing carriers in perfect unison. While the conservatives grumble about losing influence over the Wehrmacht, no one can deny that now the Reich has returned to the world stage in full panoply of war. Even the Fuhrer can't help a snug 
smug smile, when looking upon the result of the reforms he had allowed, perhaps Von Treskow was right after all. Not that he would ever admit that, of course. Raise a Balkan Croix. Um, right, I got it real quick. I'll do that and that. Then I'll do that and that. And here, are, I'll just do that. Beautiful. Um, so the army's done. Let's work on... I guess we'll cover up our crimes. Unfortunately, we're not quite done with the most difficult parts of our legacy in the East yet. To put in politically incorrect terms, the East was our slave pit, from whence countless millions were dragged to fuel the fires of wartime industry, and that of peacetime as well. As if that weren't bad enough, the rather obvious which it's rather obvious which individuals bear a good deal of responsibility for those morally dubious missteps. There's much to do work to do for the R and D and propagandists to do. Citizens of both the Reich and the Ionic Pact must learn to the correct version of events, as well as the most appropriate interpretation of them. The truth that may yearn for can never be good, for it would undo the Reich and all the good our fear in his cabinet has done. Perhaps it will come to light regardless in the distant future, but for now, for now we must have our necessary fiction. Are they, are they, are they gonna win? Are they about to beat back Saudi Arabia? If they somehow do, holy shit. Oh wait, wait. Um, let's establish a new identity. No longer were foreigners think of Germany as a merciless overseer who motivates its subjects with the whip. Yes, our rule in the past was, uh, difficult at times, and there was much strife between ourselves and the conquered, but time heals all wounds and brings with it understanding. We have l all learned from our experience, and now the Reich can change accordingly to suit the times. And so Germany shall be as a benevolent lord. Benevolent lord! Those ones called subhumans will be our vassals who live in peaceful, mutually beneficial arrangement with us. Some may call this the continuation of imperialism by other means, but those who know the Reich's inner workings understand that this is, just, this is the most just and even-handed way forward. The fear is a man of peace and understanding. This concession to the conquered will prove it. There we go. Establish a new identity. Uh, subsidies, social, subsidized societal development. There we go. If this new arrangement were merely imperialism, we would simply continue the old policy of economic exploitation. That is patently not the case, or at least it won't be once Earhart's economic schemes are put into motion. The lands we conquered are part of a greater Reich, so naturally they shall be treated appropriately. And it's for healthcare, education, industry, agriculture. All these and more will be directly supported and subsidized by the Reich's government. Whereas a lesser fear would have simply used the Reich's wealth to turn the east into one giant factory, Speer will build an economy that people of the Ionic Pact truly deserve, one that is free, fair, and safe from exploitation. The common Slav can surely appreciate that as readily as a German can. I'm sure. Can't, yeah, we can't do anything in Poland right now anymore. So that doesn't matter too much. And these, these guys are just fighting it out, it seems. Sudan versus the yeah, Sudan Defense Force. There we go. And subsidize, let's go with the perfect scapegoat. Typically a scapegoat has a little better to do with a problem at hand has little to do with a problem at hand. We know better than everyone 
anyone, since finding people to blame for all Jeremy's woes was a core part of the Rex's propaganda effort for many years. However, this scapegoat we have in mind for our modern narrative is guilty enough already that nobody will mind a few more crimes being ascribed to him. Of course, if Heinrich Himmler didn't want to be remembered in the official history of the Reich as the most evil man in history, responsible for immeasurable suffering throughout Europe, maybe he should have stayed a chicken farmer. As things are, we couldn't have asked for a greater villain for the history books. There we go. Let's do more of these. These are great. Oh, I think our industrial expertise is about to go up what, next month. Oh, so will our academic base. Probably, okay, this will be next month. The other one will be in two months. Okay, liberty of collaboration. Those who derive a new national socialist paradigm fail to understand the realities of our situation in a place of racial hierarchy devoted to running in it extractive economy, we have built a strong cohesive union of fledgling states, nestled under the Reichslander wing until they have properly matured and can be treated as equals. Any government in the free world would have done the same thing in our position. Indeed, they have done so in the past, dubbing it nation building. Our efforts are condemned as collaboration. Well, we happily embrace that labor. Label. Of course it is collaboration. The Slavs, among others, now collaborate with us on so many things. The economy, societal development, science, technology. And they benefit from it. Yes, they are beholden to our interests, but who can call us tyrants when we have done more for the Slavs than America has ever done for its native population? Oh, fuck. My God, I got us there. Shit. Check fucking mate, Germany. A video of collaboration. There we go. Let's go ahead and do a trip out back. Now that the matter of societal organization has been addressed, there's only one last administrative matter that requires a fierce attention. Rather, a lot of militarists and various sympathizers have escaped our notice by hiding within the bureaucracy. The monster in uniform has evidently made a nest for its kin within the dark and off-forgotten corners of the Reich. Concerning, but nothing we can't deal with. With the Burger Krieg now far behind us, we cannot simply unleash the R&D on the bureaucracy to clean these rats out. There may be adverse effects to another wave of bloodshed shed at this relatively peaceful time. All we really need to do is draft up some lists and resend the most problematic individuals to far positions to positions far away from the Reich's Chancellery. The further they are from Germania, the weaker the field marshals gripped on the Wehrmacht. So there we go. Stroke of the pen. Um, do more of this. Oh, we can middle Germany up a bit more. We got, I think, until 72. Right on. A union, but at what cost? Return the waves. Britons never, never shall be slaves. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty based, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, they're back in the Uni Pact now. We got the Anglos and the Brits all on our side. I'm guessing we no longer have... Yeah, we don't have that going for us anymore. Okay, I'm going to say... We go ahead and prepare for this invasion.
And I'm gonna hope... I'll give you guys these guys. Sending guys out to Africa. Trip out back. Keep doing all that. We're done with this side. Might as well get working on some science. Um, hiring spree. The rap. The that is a rapidly expanding is rapidly expanding as it absorbs it smaller, less efficient bureaus across the various branches of the military administration. While a boon for our research, this is taking more and more men from their duties, which is rather unwise, given our precarious situation so soon after the end of the civil war. In order to avoid a loss of efficiency, we shall grant the RFM its own personal personnel and the funds to recruit more. After a hiring camp, a hiring campaign will be launched across the qualified members of the army, and as we join, they will be replaced and turned by new cadets and recruits replenishing our military. <sighs> Speer released a harsh sigh as he looked down the photographs taken during the roundup of the, milit the militarists still in Germany, his agents bringing them into cars delivering them to the airport. From there, they will be sent out to Muscovian to be with the madman of an officer, that cursed Schorner. At least, Speer thought, having these people gently encouraged out of the Reich and into the East would keep them from doing anything Schorner would have wanted them to do while he was counting trees. The Fuhrer chuckled bitterly at the idea. The madman counting trees. He wondered if a Russian leader had found some humor in the same idea he found just now. He eventually stood up, walked around the desk and out of his office, absent-mindedly going through the quarters of the chancellery, thinking about the things he and his government were free to do now that those people of likes of Schorner would finally be out of here. He was stopped by a portrait of Adolf Hitler, studying him in a more civilian attire. The fear once looked up to him, owing him for the opportunities given to him. He earned much from what Hitler did, and now he was gone. At least now, Speer wondered, a new Germany wouldn't have to worry about the excesses which Hitler promoted. For now, Germany would be free from warmongering God, uh, dogs, for the good of Reich. And these guys, how many troops does do these fellas have? 105 divisions, okay. Well... I think doing this gives us more command power, I want to say, right? Oh, smarter academic base. Time and time again, societies crumble. All will agree is usually a slow, painful process. However, there are more, many voices of dissent as to the exact cause. One prominent theory is the foundation of any complex society. It's education. Well, an adolescent, adolescence to fit a role in any society is key to maintaining its longevity. When a society expresses conflict, but be it economic recession, civil war, or social conflict, money and tension is often drawn away from schooling, creating a vicious cycle that slowly downs technological progress and, cure, and, and discovery and kills curiosity. Well, towards the future. Okay, let me go ahead. Do this, do this, and do this. Hiring spree. Let's salvage some Wunderwaffe designs. The last years before Hitler's staff saw the failed development of the Wunderwaffe project. Gargantuan, unbelievable weapons, which in the eyes of their main proponent, Hermann Göring, would have ma magically annihilated all the enemies of the Reich. Exploiting Hitler's senile conditions, and with the support of a powerful military, he wanted an incredible amount of money, de desperately trying to make them work. Of course, they never did. When our agents captured the laboratories dedicated to the Wunderwaffe, and they captured the blueprints of several theoretical designs, and even some prototypes. Failed, of course, and brought them to us. We'll, of course, get rid of everything, as our resources can surely be 
better spent on more productive research, but some of those studies show promise. Some of those theories, their theories about electronics and energy propagation could be what our scientists need to make a breakthrough. As they say, waste not, want not. Okay, so we got the Russian Fed... Oh, they just, um... I think they just peacefully integrated Samara. Yeah, I think they did. Okay, Boris. I see you. Um... We need to get rid of that spirit, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and... Deal from the ease of consumers. Goring and his cronies funneled most funds destined to the research towards the military projects, severely crippling advancements in all of the fields. As the shadows of civil war dissipate, our people watch with envy at the commodities enjoyed by almost everyone in the United States, Japan, and even fucking Italy. They, I, I add the fucking, of course, but still, it gets a point across. In order to address the issue properly, we shall shift our focus back to the needs of the masses, provide them with the modern services and goods they can appreciate, and which will make their life easier. Enough time and effort, all of Germany will enjoy the fruits of our labor, and who knows, perhaps one day we'll be able to extend our living standards to the rest of the Reich? Question mark. I'm down. You guys are down, I am down. There we go, needs consumers. Needs of the builders. The Burger Creek has turned much of our infrastructure and turned entire cities into rubble. We're building our homeland into a fraction of what it was before, taking an enormous amount of time and resources. Not everything looks grim, however. As the old saying goes, from great danger comes great opportunities. As our fear fear surely knows being an architect himself the great need for new houses officer, offices and infrastructure can be used to bring forth new advancements in the fields of construction materials and building resources or even an architectural renaissance the deutsche forschungsgemeinschaft shall oversee the distribution and of new funds to companies and research laboratories willing to develop new technologies, and soon the scars left by the war will be mended by the healing power of solid, beautiful edifices. I'm not gonna pretend to read that seriously. Cause that's just kinda wasting time. Alright, I forgot about this. Okay, we'll call everyone in. Wait, what? Already? Oh, that's fucking based! Wow. Mind Fia, the Kriegsmarine has successfully recaptured the islands of Mauritius and Reunion from Madagascar. As you know, doubt out aware, this secures our hold on the east on the Indian Ocean and allows us to continue projecting power into East Asia. Donka von Tresco, the uh, people probably do not care in the slightest about some tiny islands thousands of kilometers away, but at least have something to demonstrate about the success of our administration. And the best of the next global strength, responded Speer. That probably all then. It might have been in all for Madagascar, but it will not be all for the reconquest demanded by the German imperialism. This is especially true for those who, through experiencing some semblance of freedom, might once again find themselves under the German boot. Indeed, there's much more to be done. Wait, is that done already? Or are, are we still... No! We, we, we finished. That was underwhelming. I want to do an invasion. Boo. Okay, recon companies. Okay, I'm guessing we won't be able to do... Matt for a bit. Civil war raged across the fatherland. Our grip on the Reichskommissariats loosened. 
and many of them, facing revolts of their own, refused to send resources to Germany. Of course, this resulted in mass shortages of vital materials, effectively crippling our industry, both civilian and military. As the embers of, cold, of war grow cold, we've completely lost control over large parts of our colonial empire. This is heavily damaging our producers. We, with a need of raw materials greater than ever, and the prospect of waging war to acquire them simply non-existent, we need to invest in research aimed at developing either synthetic materials to replace new resources we no longer have access to, or new extraction methods to fully exploit the resources found within our home. All right. Keep this up. Slaves be gone. So this is like a two-week cooldown. I don't believe that, though. Oh! The economy is doing great. And new reforms in industrial subsidizing have resulted in the shipping of updated industrial equipment across the country. Product products are being produced quicker and cheaper. The further progress of mechanization into the once ossified industrial world will prove a boon to worker and manager alike. No more long, horrible hours. No more subpar products screwed in by imperfect human hands. Industry continues her march forward. These were a long time coming, however. Increases in budgets and a renewed focus on what our industries are making have increased support for a much-needed renovation of our indu country's industrial equipment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Strange news has come from Tokyo, at least as far as foreign response we're able to report on C. Reports have also come in detailing the assassination and suicide of multiple prominent Japanese political fi figures, including the very founder of a Taisai Yokusan Kai himself, Fuminaro Kone, and Lord Keeper of the Privy Seal, Koichi Kido. Whether these are linked to the Great Conspiracy throughout Japan and China is not yet to be seen. Of note, the Privy Camp Council has appointed Kishi Nobusuke as the new Prime Minister of Japan. Kishi has come to power following a military coup attempting, attempt against the Diet and has promised to restore stability and peace to the Empire through any possible means. There are rumors, though, of the devil of Showa seeking to implement the very system he has painstakingly built in Manchukuo. The devil of Showa rises from hell. The way of the warrior is to be found in dying. Yamamoto Tsunemoto uh, I gotta turn this music off this. It's down to this. Okay, let's get that music back going. Uh, Japan has just become mega cursed, guys. Oh, God. They still got their focus tree, though. Oh, no. Uh, let's support the universities. In the last grim decade, when the Reich was spiraling towards total collapse, the universities stood as the last beacon for rationality and freedom of opinion in a world plagued by extremism and partisanship. On a more practical note, the universities were our main source of support, and thousands of university students served with distinction to volunteer militias, many of them dying in service to the fatherland. It's a way to commemorate the sacrifice of many brave young men and women, and ensure the light of progress isn't snuffed out completely in our slowly recovering country, we shall grant large funding to the universities so that they're able to both rebuild their campuses and restart their quest for innovation. That works for me.
Yeah, Japan just got really fucking cursed all of a sudden. Support the universities. Might as well send him some weapons. Come to KWB. The Kaiser Wilhelm Gesellschaft, uh, the f the Kaiser Wilhelm Society, was founded back in 1911 when our people had a completely different vision of what Germany's future would be. Ever since its inception, the, so the society served as a countrywide neural web, a hub for research in all fields of human ingenuity, with separate branches tending to different projects. When the Civil War began, the society was fragmented, its efforts concentrated on war, but now the times are ripe for a return to to its original focus. By reconstituting the detached branches in our surviving universities and encouraging our remaining academics to join them, we'll both resume a honorable and historical tradition and give a strong boost to research facility efficiency. So that gives us another research slot altogether. Because God knows we need those. Because I am clearly just jumping at the opportunity to research more. Okay, what are we doing next? Civilian construction, fuck it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to research. I just more can I just know I can research more shit now. Supremacy or bust. Let's do it. Our direct competitors are already making great progress. In many fields of research. The Americans, the Japanese, even the Italians are ahead of us. We can't remain idle. Our or bound by our own fear of the future. We need a great effort, one which will lead us towards a new towards new discoveries as soon as possible by investing considerable amounts of resources, both financial and political, into our finest research facilities. Our scientists will be able to at least partially fill the gap with the rest of the advanced nations of Earth until we can finally be on the same ground once more. We'll achieve supremacy, or we'll fall trying. Forwards for progress. And with that, I gotta cut it here, folks. So, uh, thank you for watching. As always, if you like this video, this video, go ahead and leave a like. If not, feel free, free to dislike. If you want to see more of this content, you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For more uploads every weekday, as well as every Saturday. If you have any comments, feedback, concerns, anything sort, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I read all the comments I get, and I appreciate any and all feedback you might have for me. If you want to send a few bucks my way, I have a Patreon. If you want to chat or uh, play games, I have a Discord. And if you just want to have a good old time and watch me do sort of stuff like that, I have a Twitch. You can check all that down at the link below. But yeah, that's all the time I have, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you as always for watching. My name has been Doug33. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>